Today on Kids Toys Play is the Thomas and Friends Battery Operated Engine Competition to see who is the best on the island of Sodor. Stay tuned. Kids Toys Play. It's playtime! <laughs> okay, so here's a long track race. We've got all nine trains right beside each other. They're going to line up and we're going to see who's going to win. Okay, we got Rosie, Percy, Toby, Thomas. Can you name them? Diesel, Salty, Spencer, Hero, Jay. You ready to get going? Yes. Let's get going on this. Okay, there's some actual horsepower holding these down, but I think we're ready to go. Ready? You tell me when. Go! Okay, they're off. And who's coming down there? Oh, Rosie is out in the lead, but Spencer is catching up quickly. We've got Rosie, Spencer, it looks like Salty and Diesel are tied for third. Percy, James, Thomas, Toby, and rounding out the pack, it's yeah. Hero at the last. Who's gonna win? Percy by a nose, or Rosie by a nose, just over Spencer. But here comes Diesel. Diesel keeps seems to edge out Salty. Rosie, far in the lead. There's Percy in the back. Hero still in last end. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna go across? It's winner, winner, Rosie, followed by Spencer. Diesel, Salty. Percy and Oh, who's coming in? Again. Look at this. Well, he's more in fifth. Percy comes in fifth, followed by gets a really splendid red engine. And Hero gets Thomas, right Toby, right and who's in right, last? Right where the flag is. He, the clear winner of our nine-lane raceway, without the shadow of a doubt, it's Rosie. So in the first heat, we were bringing in Rosie, Thomas, Spencer, and Percy. Okay, are we ready? As we get down to the set, Percy Slate takes a slight lead. Oh, followed by Spencer. Rosie is way too controlled. Look, Spencer's going ahead. He's taking ahead on Rosie, and it's Spencer wins. Followed by Percy, Rosie, and go, go, Thomas. Thomas, number four. Okay, we're going to have heat number two started right away. We've got, who do we have here, William? Okay, Liam, are you ready? Yes. Go. Go. Here we go. And it's Diesel in first, followed by Salty. Ah. Neck and neck. Oh, James is coming in through with Toby, and Salty takes the lead, but he stays on the track if they're deep descent, followed by Diesel. James coming down the big hill. Now, will he make it? Will he make it? Oh, Toby. Salty yeah, wins. Yeah, Salty. Come on, Diesel. Go, go, go. Oh, go, go, go. Diesel just gets stuck on the track. Diesel gets stuck on the track. Go, yeah. go, go, go. Oh, he's really stuck. James comes in second, Diesel, and Toby. He's too bad for the gate. That's just terrible. We've got the winners of the previous two heats. We've got Spencer. Thomas. I mean, James. Really? Who's this guy? Salty. And? Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, yeah. one. Oh, Spencer and Salty neck and neck, followed by Percy James coming in the rear, going down the hill. Oh, Spencer takes a slight lead. Percy passed. Oh! No. Oh, Spencer and Salty are off. Percy, oh, James! It's a runaway, it's a runaway. Come on, get back on the track, get back on the track. Oh, poof. Folks, the surprise winner of the hill decline, Percy. You know, Percy really impressed me in that one. Let's see how he does in the next challenge. And here we have the newest track set up. These we're calling the Mogul Races. So it's very simple. You just have to be the first to go up, down, up, down. And the first one that comes off the table wins. But in heat number one, randomly, we have... Percy, Toby. In the number three slot. Thomas, and, and Spencer. Okay, we're ready. We got all four on. Liam, give us the countdown. Followed by Percy. Thomas is making up the hill, and Toby is just embarrassing himself. Spencer already on the second hill. Going farther, followed by Percy. Toby slowly catching up when he goes downhill, but here comes Spencer up in the final race. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? It's gonna be Spencer! Percy seems to be stuck. Those two wheels. Oh, but the six small wheels will carry Thomas in. What? No. And it seems in the last race that it came down to Percy and Thomas in the second place. 
I think that Percy got high centered with those four wheels of his while the six small wheels of Thomas seemed to carry him through and get him to the next round. Let's go on to the second race. And here we have the contestants for heat number two. In lane number one, he's black, he's oily, he's everyone's favorite, it's... Diesel. In the second lane, she's pink, she's perfect, and she beats Thomas in everything, she's... Rosie. In lane number three, it's the Dockside Diesel. Sophie. And in lane number four, the one engine that needs no introduction, he is splendid, he is red, he is the most exciting engine on the track, he's... I think the winner is going to be my favorite engine, Salty. I think Salty's going to do this. What do you think? You ready? Set? Go! Here we go! And they're neck and neck almost, but the breakaway is Rosie up the first hill, followed by Salty. It seems like Diesel's passing Jingle. Rosie breaks away on the second hill. She's going to come up and is she going to make it? Diesel catching up on Salty. James coming to the first hill. The winner is Rosie, followed by Diesel. Overlapped. Salty got high centered and it's Salty and James did not finish. And in the final heat of the Moguls Championship, for the championship of it, we've got our final four engines here today. It's going to be an exciting race. We've got the four best engines on the island of Sodor. In lane number one. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. The Duke and Duchess' own Spencer. He's not going to win. In lane number two, the number one blue engine, everyone's least favorite, it's... We'll win and it's best Thomas. That's Thomas. In lane number three, the always honest and trustworthy. Diesel, but he's not gonna win. Oh wow! And in lane number four, with her little light and her big, big smile, she is going to win. And her name is Rosie. Okay, they're lined up. They're ready to go. We're waiting for the marksmanship, and it's off, and they're off, and here comes all four neck and neck. Oh, it looks like Thomas has come down behind. Spencer, Rosie, Tom, but Diesel not far behind. Thomas in the fourth place. Rosie breaks ahead on the second hill, but Diesel's close behind. Here comes Spencer. Will Rosie take it? Will Rosie go? Oh, Spencer gets hung up, and it's Rosie. It's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Bye bye, Diesel. For the second event out of the three events we competed in, Sir Topham Hat feels compelled to give the trophy to Rosie. Rosie, just in the straightaway, as well as the moguls, is just dominating the competition. But, how will she do in the next event? And welcome to the latest event, the shunting challenge. So we go with a long track, and every quarter mile of the track, an engine has to pick up a new piece of freight to shunt to the finish line. And our competitors in the first heat? Percy. Toby. Diesel, Rosie. Here we go, ready and go, here we go. And it's, oh, it's Rosie and Diesel neck to neck. Yeah. Looks like Percy's coming up third and Toby, as expected, comes in last. I think Diesel's just edging out in front of Rosie. Oh, wow. Percy seems to be hung up on the first little bit of track. Oh, but I think Diesel's getting ahead of Rosie on this one. This is something incredible. Percy, now, now get past the track, pushing ahead of Toby. Diesel still out in the lead. Rosie catching up still on her with a Percy in a distant third and Toby taking up the final. Here is the last bit of shunt and oh, it's Diesel. Diesel is proving to be quite the shunter. Who's going to take it away? And it is Diesel. Diesel followed by, wow, Diesel just dominating the competition. Rosie moving out. Okay, here in our second heat in the number one lane, we have the little blue engine, Thomas. Number two lane, we have Salty, the Dockside Diesel. From the mainland, courtesy of the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, Spencer in the number three lane. And in the number four lane, our splendid red engine. James. Okay, we are ready to go on this. Are you ready, Liam? Yeah. Go, here we go, lots of races. It is Spencer out in front, followed by Salty. Looks like Thomas and James are almost neck to neck with James almost a slight of a lead, but here comes Spencer. Spencer after the first shunt with a troublesome truck. Spencer in first, Salty in second, followed by James. Thomas pulling up the rear. Here we are at the aquarium cars. Oh, Spencer still with the lead, but I think Salty might be in his game with the aquarium cars used to pushing these. Shunting on the third lap, it's still Spencer with Salty close behind. James pulling him in third, and Thomas in a distant fourth. 
Mommy, I think that's that Salty might be overtaking Spencer here. It's coming really close as we get to the final cargo car. Spencer's the first to go. A full car length to hold of Salty. James seems to be slowing right down, but Tom is still in fourth. And as we come to the final track, before the third trains even get touched, Spencer finishes first, followed by Salty. And here we are in the championship lane. Interesting to note, not one member of the Sodor Steam team is in the final four and are only two diesels. Salty and Diesel himself in the number one and two position at this point. The only two diesels in the competition. Do diesels make better shunters? This is the big question, our surprise lead out. Rosie coming in on her third leg here and all the way from the mainland. He's cocky, but he has reason to be so. I think Spencer is gonna do very well. And we're off, here we go! Right off the lead, oh Rosie taking an immediate dominant lead. Head above Spencer, followed by Salty and Diesel coming in fourth. We have Rosie in the first place. Looks like Salty and Spencer are tied for second with Diesel close behind. Rosie definitely two car lengths ahead. My goodness, this is absolutely incredible. Rosie, now a full length ahead, wow! Wow, full three cars in front of the second place. Here she comes, and now she's finally picked up the fourth. Oh, it looks like Salty's dropped off completely. Something stuck on him. Will Salty recover? We're not sure. But Rosie, the surprise knockout story of this. Is she going as we come into the final lap? Here it is, and it's Rosie! First place, followed by Spencer. Diesel in third, and Salty. A mishap on the track. Final place. A very, very familiar sight to see today, folks. Sir Topham Hat, once again, the trophy going to the Lavender Engine. Rosie, just dominating the competition today. Let's see how she does in the final race. And here we are, the final race. A winner take all, long track, stretched out version. Two trains racing for the title of Island of Sodor Championship. Today's big winner, Heads and tails above everyone else. Rosie, pink engine. But does she have what it takes to challenge the big double battery Rio remote controlled freight train? Liam, we're gonna take this. Liam, these, these two trains are gonna compete in a long track going all the way the entire length of the living room. Elder Luke's going back and the first one to go all the way back is going to be the winner. The crowd, very quiet at this moment, very anxious to see, will Rio be toppled here today? And they're off, here they go, oh, right off the bat, just dominating the competition, Rio, huge lead on Rosie, but does he have the staying power? Will Rosie catch up? As we're going down the entire length of the track, here it is. Oh, wow, Brio takes a dominating lead. Almost an entire eight inches, 16 inches. He's doubling her, he's tripling her. Folks, that looks like a, that looks like an almost 16 inch lead. This is absolutely unbelievable. Rosie, did she chug too hard today? Is she all out of puff? As we get around the bend, it looks like Brio, will he contain you? Yes, he does. He is almost on the bend. He has past the halfway point. Rosie's still going, giving it her all, but will she catch up? We don't know as she just enters the curve. Right now, we see Brio long down the track. My goodness, this is just embarrassing. Rosie doing all she can today, just going on the very length, but Brio is well ahead. And here it is, Brio's coming in last. Brio, oh, Brio's coming in first, and it's gonna be easy. Will he finish? Brio wins. Brio wins as Rosie comes behind. Let's see how far back she is, folks. This is absolutely incredible. My goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eight-inch pieces. Rosie giving it her all, but has she just chugged out? Is she all done? Folks, it has been an absolutely brilliant, gallant even effort today by Rosie. She has dominated all of the solar battery operated engines but she does not have what it takes to defeat our champion the double battery real remote control train do you think he's happy about it 
Oh, he might just be very pleased with that. And let us know in the comments who, who your favorite battery operated engine is. Thanks for watching Kiss Arts Play. And don't forget to, to subscribe.